Scion XA. We're gonna change the battery also on this car. This is a car we previously worked on, on a misfire. This is a terrible battery. So if you have all this corrosion, all this acid stuff, it's nasty. You wanna change the battery, especially the winter's coming. And uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna let this car run while we do this. First, we're gonna dismount the bracket. Cause we don't want to work taking out we don't want to take out the terminal and there's no battery power and then we struggle to get the, the cover off sometimes it breaks like that that's fine there's not much you can do because it's all corroded all right you take that put that away Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this only, and then we're gonna bring the new battery closed. Loosen it only. Leave it on. Leave it on. Loosen that one also. So if you have a, like a Toyota, a Honda, you will follow the same procedure. First, remove the cover, the the holder. And then remove the remove the the terminals. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna uh, I want you guys to listen to what I'm saying next. Is we're gonna remove this and this. We're gonna get the battery over really quick. We're gonna put that in and put this in. Then one by one, we're gonna clean the corrosion inside the terminal. That way, at least we have the battery back on. Okay. See that one? On? The positive you want to hold to the side. You don't want it to touch the body. Next, what you do is you put the positive in, the negative, and the positive in. Now you can get any tools you want. You could clean this and then stick them right back in. That way it's not a too long of a uh, time for you to lose the power. The reason I tell you this is because you don't want the car to shut down because other things can happen. So if you scrape it in there and that's it. Make sure it's nice and clean. You do the same thing with the other one. A little bit of corrosion. You just want to get it out of there. And that's it. Get it nice and clean and blow. Watch, it's an acid, so you don't want to get it in your nose. It's going to burn. And that's it. That's good enough. It looks nice and shiny in there. Go ahead, dude. He's not going to be funny for that. Screw that way. And then, uh,. You can take your number 10 and tighten both of these. So the bracket on this car broke, we'll get them a new bracket and we'll put that in. What I recommend is if you have uh, this battery uh, spray here like such as this, I like to spray this on the terminals. This works like a grease. Oh, we have uh, our bracket. Let's go the other way. Let me just close inside with that. What? This corrosion side is out. Sure? This corrosion side, remember it broke from this side. It broke. So we're gonna put this bracket back on. You always wanna have a holder for the battery. So like I said, if you have any car, Toyota, Honda, same procedure. You remove the cover, that holds the bracket, that holds the battery down, and then you take out the battery terminals and swap out the battery. Simple.
What you want to do is you want to grab that in the bottom. And you might have to take out the bolt from one end, just get the holder in first. Mm -hmm. This one goes very deep, so... There you go, you have it. So we're gonna tighten this, and this bolt, and that's it, it's done. And uh, that's how you change the battery. On any other car you have, just follow these steps.